Hi, good day my friends. After six months of using this phone, the V9500 Plus, I'm going to make my final verdict for this phone and answering few questions that you had in your comments or here and there I can hear it. So I'm going through the, the final pros and cons of this phone and answering some of the questions. Okay, the first thing is battery. For daily use, normally I use about maybe 45 minutes to one hour. I'm using the Bluetooth headphone uh, for connecting and listening to music or some other things. And I'm playing some games, some very simple games like chess or something in my phone. And uh, maybe listening to some other things. I have my YouTube studio. I check that one. Um, my banking system, my workout system, reading news. So I can say uh, as what it record actually, it normally can work about 13, 14 hours of the screen on completely and working with the phone. Uh, the minimum I got from this phone is five days after, first, I mean, after charging. And the best I got is seven days. Uh, it means it works seven days without need to be charged again. And the battery is okay for me still working after six months uh, same as a new one okay let's go for some problem this phone has first of all the main problem the phone has is your hands-free so this is the original hands-free coming with the phone but as you can see it cannot actually fit in your ear very well so it doesn't have a noise cancellation or something so if you want to have a wire earphone you cannot use the other brand at all i don't know why it's very strange i have a three or four different type of the jbl the samsung this is the original samsung actually so i didn't use the fake one that maybe that has a, pro has a problem from the i mean the the socket the pin or the jack part um, or the jack part so i don't know why but if i want to for example going to my whatsapp and i want to record something i can hear to the voice but if i want to record to something I only can actually use the original one. The other one cannot record your voice. I don't know why, it's very strange. So I don't do it. Uh, the best thing I suggest for phone call, you're using your Bluetooth or wireless earphones or uh, AirPods. So I'm using the Shure actually for my workout. Uh, this is Shure SE215. Yes, and the quality is very good for phone call this is good and it used very well with this phone and you can use the microphone from this system very well but if you want to record something on your phone you cannot use the bluetooth system i don't know why unless you have your original earphone in or just directly using your uh, microphone from your phone there is another question that someone asked me that does it phone has does does this phone has a uh, separate slot for uh, micro sd yes this one when here in the back you open these two button actually this one and this one and then it open and have a two sim card in the side and then in the center you have a micro sd card there is one problem with the micro sd with this phone this phone has a 64 gigabyte of the uh, storage internal storage I remember I purchased 64 gigabyte another extra and then after that I changed it to another 128 gigabyte storage for this phone and when I when you put this the SD card inside it, it asks you that do you want to format the SD card definitely yes you want to just use it for this phone and store your data and whatever it is so as soon as you're saying yes it asks you that do you want to use it as your memory card definitely you want to and when you say yes it format the sd card for you and it start to transfer in the some files and photos from your main uh, files in the in the phone to the sd card and after that your phone memory cannot be accessed so it's out of access totally you only have access to the memory card your sd card actually not your phone uh, internal storage i don't know why it's, it's very strange but uh, when normally when you come into your setting your file setting it at the bottom it said a storage device for example here you can see it said 45 gigabyte free here and it has a sd card whatever it is remain there yes fine but then you cannot go to your internal storage card from your phone because it just known your um, sd card this is a problem i had i tried to solve it it never happened actually 
uh, to be easy so I just remove my memory card and just put it in my uh, new toy my drift ghost so I put it there and I just use the original memory card the internal story sorry for the phone and the problem is there I don't know why it cannot be solved even I send message to the uh, service center I mean like an after sale service nobody answer another item you need to think about is after sale service I'm not sure this phone origin is from Taiwan or Hong Kong I heard this from Taiwan but after sale service is quite weak and they are not very reliable on answering your phone it has something they said uh, yeah BB family so you're going to the this section and start to checking the data there ask you about the language you have and then start to asking questions there if there is answer there you can find it fine if no there is no answer there and nobody can answer your question I don't know why even I went through their website I went through their Insta uh, official Instagram page and I asked you question no proper answer They're just saying just go to your go to our website but at the end there is no good answer coming because my question was related to my SD card why it doesn't work properly and I mean nothing came out as an answer so in case if you have the answer please uh, enlighten me and let me know how it works at least I can use my SD card for this phone uh, in one of my videos I try to show you the quality of the sound actually the speaker is very loud and one problem with this phone is especially uh, when I'm using my Skype when I'm calling here and there with the Skype I cannot reduce the volume so I cannot re I really cannot reduce it the minimum volume is quite loud and if I'm in somewhere I just want to use a speaker but I don't want the, everyone around me hear the voice I cannot do it unless I just put the the special their special earphone so this is another thing that maybe they need to improve it someone asking me if this is a rugged phone why you are buying a screen protection for this phone uh, yes this is a rugged phone and uh, same as everyone I am working and earning money and I didn't buy this phone uh, as a free item and nobody give it to me as a gift even as a gift I could not break it so I just put the screen protection and it's funny because during the last few months I got a one big crack here it hit the uh, ground very hard I think from about 1.5 meter so this uh, I mean this is a tempered glass is already gone has a two crack a very small crack here one is here it fall in a something like a nail actually and in the corner so after that uh, it's I'm happy to have a screen protection on this phone the the main weakness of the uh, all the glass part of this phone is at the back I really don't know what happened to this section it has a small crack on the uh, screen protection uh, sorry the lens protection area still the photo is okay but uh, fortunately I was lucky to buy a spare for this section so I have a spare in case if it's too damaged or too much crack then I can fix it or I can replace it completely but I don't know why this happened so so far this is these are the only parts so it doesn't mean if it's a rugged phone I can just put it in the fire because it's a rugged phone and they said so uh, I don't care what they said I prefer to protect what I spend money for and I don't want to throw it away after six months only I'm happy to have it it's an optional item if you don't if you buy this phone you don't want to have a screen protection go ahead don't I mean don't buy it but I'm happy with that that's fine for me someone asking about the GPS actually they said uh, I saw a comment from one person actually he said the GPS is sometimes a bit uh, clumsy it is not very accurate it happens for me especially when I'm driving in Bangkok you have a lots of uh, overhead bridge or some other thing so as soon as you're going underneath less than maybe two after, sorry after 20 seconds the GPS has started getting crazy it happens for my previous Samsung Note 5 it's not something new I know definitely it cannot just uh, get the GPS but when you are in the open area when you are in a like it's somewhere in a highway or uh, outside road or outdoor it's great it's working very well I have no problem with that yes you need to calibrate it more often but not as often as the 
uh, maybe other phones still normal for me and uh, not a big issue okay there is one thing someone asked me that why when they connect this phone to laptop or the PC they cannot find it there is something I call it is look like a trick is not very uh, normal in Android phones my previous phones yes it's not same like this but maybe I show you how I do it so you can have a better understanding okay first of all make sure you use the same cable you're using for your charging and then you connect it to your phone so yes it said it's connected but when I go there nothing is there right so you see nothing here and it says normal and when you turn it off your screen it says charging slowly but I don't care about that so you open your top uh, I mean screen pull it down you have your charging this uh, device via USB you click on that set tap for more information you click on that it coming here so in this screen you have a file transfer USB tethering, MIDI, PTP, and no data transfer. So I want to have a file transfer. As soon as I put it, the phone will start showing up here. So if I go back, you, you can see everything here. So if I want to put music inside, copy music, remove it, put photo, uh, I mean, export my photos or whatever it is, I can do it. And after that, easily you can just remove it and nothing will happen one of the main problems some people are talking about is the quality of the camera um, first day when I started purchasing this phone I knew this camera this phone camera is not very high quality in comparison with the new uh, phones in the market they are sometimes cheaper uh, and they have a better quality uh, but Frankly speaking, I purchased this phone because of the ruggedness and the battery and I didn't want to charge my phone every night. Otherwise, I could go and just buy different type of phone, the Samsung, the um, Oppo or those kind of new Chinese phone coming to market. They have a much, much better quality cameras. Uh, but definitely, I will. I mean, you can see the photo somewhere here, around here. I would get a photo for you. This is the latest photo I got last week. In daytime, the photo is still good. Nighttime, no, not not that much, uh, but still, I'm happy with the phone quality and the phone performance. I'm totally fine with that. I knew the camera is not perfect, so I purchased it. So no complaint for me. So whoever buy this phone and complain about the camera, please just I mean read the specs before this and I mean check the quality of the camera here and there. Definitely in the perfect lighting, you can get the perfect photo uh, with any type of camera i mean no matter your camera is 8 megapixel 10 megapixel 12 or even now 64 if i'm not wrong but in some a little bit low light definitely is not that high quality i'm totally fine with that and i'm happy with that so it's not a big uh, issue for me another question we had was um, is your seller is reliable this is on my seller it's just the aliexpress uh, I mean, I purchased some other things from AliExpress. Instead of two weeks, it took took them about maybe three to four weeks that the package reached to my home, and I used it especially during this uh, COVID nineteen period of time. The flights are limited, and post service is not everywhere same as before. So maybe it has problem. Make sure wherever you want to buy it online, especially from AliExpress, which I put the link below. Uh, you make sure you read the comment and check the latest reviews of this phone to see when they deliver to which country and this should be easy and some of the supplier actually uh, distributor in Aliexpress some of them have a distribution in different different continents like in Europe for uh, Australia for uh, South America for North America for Asia and some of them only have a one distributor that which distribute to all over the world so definitely there are differences here and there so you can choose your country and from where you want to uh, I mean they post it to you so you can choose it make sure you test you check all of those items before you uh, click purchase and pay for this uh, phone recently I saw in some of the website they sell case for this phone I mean this is really 
a huge phone in your pocket imagine if you have a case how big will be in your pocket i don't know if you want to have a case this is a rugged phone uh, why you need case uh, so this is first thing seriously the case it doesn't need it because everywhere around here is a i don't know it's aluminium or stainless steel anywhere whatever it is and it has a a nice rubbery things at the corners so it's pretty strong the only thing is maybe you need a, a somewhere to clip it uh, i purchased this last week i have another um, night eyes bag i have that one so this one perfectly fit inside that and also i purchased this from uh, decathlon in thailand i'm sure you can see it in one of my videos i mean i think uh, my last video before this i posted there so it's 250 baht in i can say seven us dollar so it's perfectly can go inside and then this part can actually clip to your belt or to your backpack or even to your i mean your laptop bag or whatever it is you can easily connect there and it's it's very good if i'm going back and checking with myself do i buy it again if i know all these things i can say honestly yes i will buy it again and again and again i'm happy with what i spent for this phone about 250 200 30 dollar i spent i think now the link there you can see 200 210 um i still spent 200 dollar even if this phone only working one year for me i don't care one of the best thing with this phone is i remember one day I, we were driving out station from bangkok we went and we came back so about seven hours if i'm not wrong six six and a half or seven hours i used the gps uh, the navigator gps google map from this phone and definitely any other phones can die immediately less i mean seven hours continuously i used it but this phone just used maybe 20 percent 20 25 percent and i was surprised at how this phone can really go ahead with that much of the using the gps and definitely for bike packing this is one of the best thing you can have because you don't need to charge your phone and just carry a huge uh, power bank with yourself this is a power bank and phone together and i'm happy with it um if you have any more question please put in the comment uh, as much as i know i try to help but if it's, if i'm not then maybe someone else help and i understand that as well and i learn more from you guys thank you very much stay safe wherever you are and have a good day bye